Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Cameron Scans. Me and my friends are very happy you can come and visit my channel. We have a great variety of videos. I'm sure you'll love them. I know I do. Don't forget to check out my playlists as well. I also got some good varieties of drawings and artworks, not to mention comics. I'm sure you'll love them just as much as I do. Don't forget to be on the lookout for my new uploads. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for this video. And if you enjoy it, please turn on notifications so you'll never miss a new upload. As always, I hope you enjoy this video. Hello everyone, it's me, Cameron Scans. I hope you and everyone else in your family and friends had a very wonderful Thanksgiving. I sure know I did. Today I have a new story to tell you. It's pretty much a story I'm working on still, but in the near future maybe it will be finished soon. But anyways, this story is called Cameron Meets the Seven Deadly Sins. Now, Cameron in this story is me, of course. Now, you might be asking yourself, is it the biblical seven deadly sins, or is it the enemy seven deadly sins? And the answer is the enemy seven deadly sins. Now, just a heads up, I don't know that much of the seven deadly sins series, of course, because I'm not really all that interested. But hopefully you guys won't judge me for saying something, for saying that, of course. But I digress. Now, pretty much what will happen will hopefully interest y'all. Now, without any further ado, this is the story. <clears throat> Opening. One spring evening, I was sitting at Neon Pass train station with my locomotive, an SECR 260 mogul in BR British Railways Black. Number 31045. We were waiting for our slow goods train. It's a type of train that stops at every station to collect and set down train cars, which was running a bit late. But I thought I was early, because as I was finishing putting on my uniform, I checked my watch. It was 9.07 p.m., and I thought I was supposed to be there at 9.09 p.m. So I hurried up and headed down the stairs, told Miku goodbye, gave her a kiss on the cheek, and left. I arrived at Neon Pass train station at 9.35 p.m., 25 minutes early. The train was due to arrive at 9.55 p.m., but fell behind due to the diesel having mechanical issues. Finally, the slow goods train arrived at Neon Pass station, and the changes were made for the crews and the locomotives. I backed my locomotive up to the cars and got coupled up. I sent out a clone from my watch to be as a fireman as the train was being checked up. Soon, we got the right of way, and so I released the brakes and pulled the throttle, and we soon started off, but with the locomotive's wheels slipping furiously because of the trains was so heavy. So, to fix that problem, I released the sand so that way the wheels can have a better grip of the rails. That should do it, I said as the locomotive's wheels gripped the rails. Soon, the train began to pick up speed, and the last cars and brake van left the station. The fatal journey had begun. The Incident, Part 1 <clears throat> The train was moving swiftly through the open fields and small towns. Every signal light we passed was green meaning all was well and nothing was in our way. Soon, we arrived at Neo Star Country Station. We dropped off some of our cars, and we headed to the next stop. The locomotive's wheels slipped again, but not so furiously, since the train was lighter. During the trip, my clone began to feel tired out from shoveling all the coal, so I suggested that we switch places. My clone handled the controls while I took over shoveling coal. We continued along the track to the next stop, to the other side of Neo Star City. But just before it lies the city's rail yard. 
The Incident, Part 2. Now, Neo Star City's rail yard is a tricky place for trains if the crews of them don't know the area well enough. At the entrance to the yard is a 3.7% grade, and the given speed for entering this yard is 35 miles per hour. Me and my clone knew this well. Very well, indeed. So my clone started braking once the train reached the top of the grade, and the train glided smoothly into the yard at a safe speed of 27 miles per hour. We managed to get our train through the yard. Now we head towards the city's junction, where we could either go through the city streets, or we could go around it. Going through the city streets is much quicker to our next stop, I told my clone. I agree, replied my clone. So we went straight ahead through the city streets. And that's where the trouble began. As the train traveled along the rails, running through the streets, my clone saw a bright blue glow ahead of the train. Cameron, he called to me. What is it? I replied. You might want to see this, he said. His voice sounded concerned, but I wasn't sure why. So I stopped shoveling coal, and I looked out the cab of our locomotive, and saw the clue too. I squinted my eyes to see what it was. Then, my eyes widened with horror, as I now knew what the glow was coming from. Oh my god, it's a portal! Hit the brakes! I shouted. So we did, but strangely, nothing happened. The train only went faster. We threw the train into reverse, but still nothing, and it kept speeding up. The portal was sucking us into its open mouth. Me and my clone screamed in horror as the train flew straight into the portal's mouth. Then, the portal suddenly closed, and the last seven cars and a brake van broke away and were left rolling gently to its stop. Where am I? Part 1. <clears throat> Meanwhile, with the rest of our train, it was flying through the portal's wormhole. Then finally, the portal opened up again, and the train came out the other end. To our surprise, the tracks were magically building themselves as we continued. Suddenly, there was a jolt, and we were flown back straight into the coal of the engine's tender. Then, we started hearing the sound of metal screeching against one another. It was the sound of the brakes, loudly screaming as they gripped the rails. Then, we saw the wheels slipping furiously in reverse. At first, we felt relieved. We thought we were going to be able to stop, and maybe we can be able to go back into the portal. But our relief didn't last for long, for we looked ahead and saw in horror where we were coming straight towards a village.